Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another figure preview video. Now we're going to be taking a look at a figure that I honestly never thought was going to be coming by Hot Toys. Yes, I know that they had the license and yes, I know it was on display at San Diego and ACGHK, but I thought they were never going to do it. They never really showed any interest in the DC TV show properties. I thought they were just holding the license so nobody else could make them. But either way, they're going ahead with the CW Flash and what a figure to start off the line with. I have to say, I really do hope they go deep with this line. I want an arrow. I want a bunch of other side characters. I want reverse Flash. Let's see Hot Toys making all of those awesome characters. Either way, I want to say a huge thank you to Ryan Kirkwood from MISP Media for snapping me these pictures. I also managed to snap a whole bunch at San Diego and ACGHK, so they'll be sprinkled throughout this video as well. But as you can see, he comes with a bunch of hands, two different logos for his chest. I'm pretty sure that's the Particle Quantum Accelerator thing. I don't know. It's been a while since I've watched the first and second season of The Flash which of course this guy is based on. He comes with Jay Garrick's helmet and then he comes with the hood that you can apply to the back of the neck so you can have the Grant Gustin head sculpt applied which of course does come with this figure. It hasn't been revealed just yet but in time closer to release which is I'm pretty sure in Q3 of 2021 or something like that you will be able to see. Now this guy is going up for pre-order first and second batch right now with Philip Liu from Toys Wonderland HK and the second batch pre-order price is currently listed at USD $227, which is currently cheaper than Sideshow Collectibles themselves. So definitely check out Philip Liu. Link down below if you'd like to pick up the CW Flash. Here you can see another picture of the hood accessory that's folded back. It actually looks really good. So too does the Jay Garrick helmet. Very metallic and I really like the paint treatment on those wings as well. Very nice and gold. As I said, it looks like a metallic helmet. Either way, let's get a look at the Flash himself. As you can see, he does have the sort of rib section on the knees, which of course was done in the show to give the actor range of motion in terms of being able to run and the same thing was applied with the suit on the figure. Now the color actually looks a little bit lighter than what we saw in the show. It was a lot more dark and dingy but I actually do prefer the look of the figure over the suit in the show itself, which is saying something because often the suits look really, really good on the show and a little bit worse when it comes to figure format, but no, Hot Toys have nailed it. You can also see he comes with a bunch of lightning accessories that are applied all over the body, and he also does come with his dynamic flight pole, which you can use to have him running. Now, I do have a few complaints, and the first of which is the feet. I said this at Comic-Con, and I'll say it here now, they are the solid one-piece foot design. That's what it looks like, at least. All of the pro promo images and also having him on display, he's in these sort of very static running poses without any ankle articulation at all. That's not good enough, in my opinion. That is something that should be fixed. I highly doubt that it will, unfortunately, but I still think that's something that should be addressed. They've done it with the neck. The cowl is a separate neck to the head itself, which means you can get a bunch of awesome looking up running poses, which I really appreciate. But then they went ahead and let us down with the feet, which are arguably the most most important part for a running based character. I don't know why they've done that, but either way, I hope they fix it up. But again, I really don't think they will, which is rather unfortunate. Here you can see a shot of the whole buddy in a really awesome running pose. The color looks great. The lightning accessories look great. The detail on the fabric looks excellent. And that head sculpt, man, it looks spot on. On. A couple of people said the head looks a little bit too big. I'm not sure if you've ever seen a picture of Grant Gustin in the mask, but the actual mask itself is a pretty thick rubber latex looking piece, which actually makes his head look even bigger than it already is. He's actually got quite a large head for a person, and that helmet really does accentuate it. This photo right here, I think, looks absolutely sensational. This is one of the best pictures, in my opinion, of Flash, and of course I took it, so I can't really say that, but this one here is also a really nice image of the figure. It gives you a really nice image of the likeness itself. And as I said, I think it looks really, really strong. Now, as yet, I'm undecided whether or not I'm going to be displaying it with the white or the red symbol, because of course, you all knew I'm going to be picking it up and I'm going to be bringing you a full review and a comparison to the SoSo -So Toys figure as well. Either way, this is going up for pre-order first and second batch with Philip Liu from Toys Wonderland HK. Link is down in the description below. Also, check out Six Scale Network, the brand new awesome Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, have a good time also participating giveaways with one coming up very soon also check out Justin and Steph our brand new second channel we've got vlogs behind the scenes videos and travel videos as well link down below like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video